Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today I have taken you along for another facial treatment. I know you guys love these. I'm at the Zoe Skin Health Center in Beverly Hills, and this is definitely a medical uh, facility, so you can get a lot of different cosmetic treatments done. Um, but today I'm going to be doing a hydrafacial. Now you guys might have seen a hydrafacial on my channel a few years ago, so I haven't had a hydrafacial since, and I'm very excited to get it done again after learning more about it, and I will walk you through everything. Katie is going to be performing my facial today, and Karina is going to be filming. With every facial, we begin with cleansing the skin, and since I did not have any makeup on my face, we only did one round with cleanser, and she is using the hydrating cleanser from Dr. Obaji. While the cleansing is happening, we are also consulting with my skincare routine and kind of what I've been using and what I might be looking for during this facial session. And one of my favorite things is really having someone touch my face, massage it, and truly pay attention to my skin. Next step is exfoliating, and she is applying the exfoliating polish all over my face, which later on she's going to use the lactic acid on top, which will melt away the crystals that you see on my skin right now. This helps with hydration and also with extractions later on in the facial. Now we begin the hydrofacial portion of today's facial treatment. You can typically find a hydrofacial usually at your local dermatologist's office. I'll link the website in case you guys are interested in finding a provider near you. What I like about this process is that it really does help with exfoliation, cleansing, almost like a microdermabrasion, but less harmful and less intense. There's no downtime with the hydrofacial, and uh, this is my second one I've ever had. Really enjoy it. There is a suction happening right now, but like I mentioned, I get a little bit red, you can see here, but then it definitely clears up and my skin is really soothed, it's, it's hydrating, it's not invasive whatsoever, but it does everything I kind of want from a more intense facial. Now we're going in with a light chemical peel. She's using glycolic and salicylic to do this. There's no downtime. It's not a high enough amount of acid to cause any actual downtime. It's great for monthly breakouts and also to just to maintain the health of your skin. My favorite part of any facial is the extraction portion. This really makes my skin feel so much better. So with the hydrofacial, she's using a benzoyl peroxide for the extractions. The suction level is turned up and this will pull out anything from my pores, any of the debris, and then she can go in with her hands to get anything that the machine is missing. But this definitely is a lot less painful than traditional extractions and a lot less potential for bruising or any uh, leftover marks from hand hand extractions. You can see here she's just going in for any of the minor bits left over that the machine didn't get and she's using her fingers to do so. Again, please do not do this at home. Make sure you see a licensed professional before doing any extractions. Next up, we're going to tone using the TE Salicylic Glycolic Toner Pad, and there's three levels that they have available. Based on my skincare needs, we are going in with a sulfur mask, which will help pull out 
whatever's left in my pores without overly drying my skin. This is safe to use. It's very gentle, even though it's quite tingly. While the mask is drying, she's giving me a light massage, which was very lovely because my shoulders are always tense. A great tip that I learned about sulfur masks is to actually do a pretty thin layer so that the sulfur has time to dry and pull out everything from your pores. I was using way too much at home. After the mask is removed, we're going in with high frequency. This, you can smell the ozone. It creates a level of ozone between the electrodes of your skin. It's great for antibacterial and blood flow. Now the last portion of the hydrafacial is infusing a serum and she's putting an antioxidant serum for my face because it's really good at helping my skin. You guys know I talk about antioxidants all the time for our skincare routines and this just really helps infuse the serum into my skin. Now to finish off the facial and prep my skin for the day, she's using Bright Alive, which is a skin brightener. It's safe to use because there's no hydroquinone in it, and it helps with my freckling. Some lip balm, some eye cream, and of course, a tinted SPF. It's called their primer, and it feels amazing. I definitely need to pick some up. And sealing everything off with cryogen therapy. This helps with any irritation, any redness. It closes up the pores and seals everything in. It's essentially dry ice on a cotton pad, but it feels amazing. And this was the first time I had it done in a facial treatment. So really, really lovely and just the perfect cherry on top. Now you can see that my skin just looks amazing. I love how it feels. In terms of facials, I definitely feel like the Hydra facials because it's done at a Medi Spa or in a doctor's office is more to the point, definitely treating the skin and doing whatever it needs versus like a super relaxing um, spa setting. This is definitely more about results and getting it done versus like, let's have a nice spa day. But you know what? I love the way my skin looks. So my facial is over and I just had a wonderful time talking about skincare, learning about the hydrofacial and all the products that she was using. The Zoe Skin Health Center in Beverly Hills specifically is a full dermatologist office. So they treat all types of skin concerns, acne. Um, for me, I'm really interested in talking to them about my sun damage, the freckling, the moles and just overall sun damage from not knowing better as in my youth and living in LA so they're known for that and we were talking about some of the treatments I can try at home as well as some of the products I could probably come in or some of the treatments I could possibly come in and do so they also have microneedling they have surgical and non-surgical procedures invasive and non-invasive and there are centers around the country as well as internationally I will have their website linked in the description box but if you are able Able to visit the Beverly Hills location they are a full-service dermatologist office that understands cos cosmetic needs what I like about the hydrofacial is you can see there's no redness zero downtime but my skin is clear I had some breakouts which is why we used what we used today to clear up my skin to purge everything out and it really did pull everything out it looks amazing and I'm ready to like go about my day. It doesn't look like I had a major facial and a light chemical peel. So good, really happy. So the Beverly Hills location also has a full retail section, which is awesome. You guys can see and purchase any of the products you might need to take home. Always somebody here that can consult with what you're looking for as well. So it's really cool. Um, here are some of the products I've tried before. I actually used the hydrating cleanser and I really loved this stuff. Um, they recommended that I use the Foma Cleanse instead. So, and it's huge. like. I'll never go through that. So the bright non-retinol skin brightener because I am concerned about my skin tone, although right now you wouldn't be able to tell. This is the SPF. This is the broad spectrum sunscreen with SPF 50. It's slightly tinted and that's what I'm wearing right now. The cool thing she was showing me is this 
correct and conceal so it's a concealer with salicylic acid so it's perfect for any of like your blemishes and things like that now I just found out that they discontinued my lash serum which I've been using for a few months from here and I loved it because it was way more affordable than the Latisse but they discontinued it so um, sorry guys <laughs> I've also used the growth factor serum plus at home they're really cool products and they're all very active so everything does something so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions definitely reach out to them I will have all their information in the description box and if you have any questions for me leave them in the comment section I'll do my best to respond to as many questions as possible and if anything I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in and I thank you guys for watching check back every Monday Wednesday Friday for new videos and of course bonus videos so make sure you subscribe bye